This past summer, we went up to Washington and Oregon, so I thought I would stop in Portland and visit some of the film locations from my own private Idaho. Uh, my first stop was the elk statue, um, but I should have done more research because as you can see in the middle of the street, there is no statue. Uh, this is in Chapman Square in downtown Portland and um, the statue is missing because they are renovating. Um, there's this sign there that actually says they are uh, renovating the area. Um, what had happened with the statue, I googled it while I was there, is that during the Black Lives Matter riots, they were trying to destroy the statue, so the city actually took it down and um, they have it in storage, so it is safe, thank goodness. It was pretty sad to see the condition of the area. I didn't expect it to have all these homeless encampments around. Um, it just was kind of depressing. And this is how the statue was presented in the movie. Um, the real elk is a dark bronze color. Um, if for those who do not know, they painted the, the elk and they painted a person on set um, and put that person on top and um, posed for the, you know, for the scenes in the movie. And here is Keanu and River in front of the statue. The coming of the white man is not really a phrase that is on the statue. That was just done for the movie. And this is what the real elk and fountain looks like. The story behind this elk is pretty interesting. I believe it is either the oldest or one of the oldest statues in that city. It was gifted to the city by the governor, no, the, the mayor at the time. Um, his name was, um, I forgot the first name, but last name is Thompson. So it is sometimes called the Thompson Elk or Thompson Fountain or Elk Fountain. Here's another view of a stage that it went through during the BLM protest. And one final look at the space. Down the street, we actually ran into this, um, and I was like, I guess this makes up for my elk. And this is the website that talks about the, be, the elk being in storage. Next stop is the Chinese restaurant that Mike would hang out with his buddies at. It is now Bailey's Tap Room, and this is just kind of a view of the, you know, the surrounding area. Um, I it would have been nice to go in and, you know, get some food and um, enjoy some time in there, but our time was limited. We just had two hours to spend, and I actually was able to see a lot more than um, I was expecting to. The original plan was to just see the elk in the um, governor's, uh, governor's hotel. So here we are walking toward Jake's famous crawfish. This is where Bob and Mike see Scott walking in with his wife, and um, if you guys don't know, this is actually, or the the outside is Jake's Famous Crawfish, but when they go inside, um, the filming actually takes place at a different restaurant. Um, and this sounds so yummy. It would have been so nice to take a few minutes or an hour or so to go in there and grab some food. But um, this is what we got to see. Our last stop in Portland was the Governor's Hotel. It 
looks very different from the movie I think um, honestly I haven't seen this movie in forever um, I own it but it's not one of my it's one of those movies that is difficult for me to watch um, I love the themes I love the the story um, but it's not one of those movies I like to watch um, and so I honestly don't even remember what the governor's hotel looks like in the movie I do remember where the guys are squatting and it you know looks like crap and stuff but I don't remember what the outside looks like um, so here we actually went inside the building um, it is now called the Sentinel um, the architecture is gorgeous um, the lady that was inside gave me a quick um, story on the history of the place as it is a it is now considered a historical building or historical um, landmark and um, the 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 first I guess the first part of the building that you walk into it is actually it or it used to be um, an elk temple and you would walk through this hallway and then you would enter the actual hotel so that was pretty interesting and um, again it was gorgeous I wish I could have stayed there but I think the um, the rates were um, beyond what I could afford <laughs> so um, we still had a great time just exploring all these places and my favorite place to explore was this the Mopey Freeway. It was very, very, extremely um, smoky from all the fires in Oregon and Washington. Um, I didn't get the view that I kind of wanted. Um, so I believe I passed the correct spot and I stopped at this spot, took some pictures, and realized I don't think this is right. So now this is stop two, which is kind of backtracking. Um, this looks more like the, the, the scene that is in the movie and in um, the pictures of River Phoenix. And so um, I think this is it. And again, it's really smoky, so you don't see the mountains in the background like you normally, I think, would see in these other pictures that we see here. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there wasn't anything to, you know, too fun or exciting in there, but um, I hope it was nice to see what these places look like now, today about 30 years after you know the movie was made thank you so much for watching